everybody welcome back got another character review video for you this time we're jumping into colleen wing she's been out for a hot minute mother's day when we're recording this uh happy mother's day to all the mothers out there uh, hopefully marvel strike force gets you something out there so if not if you're watching this thank you for everything you do so colleen wing daughter of the dragon uh we'll see check out the stats check out the kit uh, heroes for hire coming they're not quite here yet because you do need that uh ally three or more heroes for hire higher allies to get uh one of those critical uh abilities up which we'll talk about as we go through here for anybody who's new to the channel like to do kind of helpful kit type reviews news stuff rate basically anything and if you're looking for marvel strike force content i'm typically trying to cover it and trying to do it in a decent way that might help you that's the goal here so uh, if you're not a familiar, Discord link in the description below, which for free gets you into and working towards the 10K giveaway. As we get to 10,000 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway, so make sure you subscribe as well, right? All right, so let's get into Colleen. Bring me Wolverthor! Okay, so um, I'm using the msf.gg bot on the uh, on Discord. Uh, the Ultron bot is not up and uh, up to date for this stuff, so I'm gonna kind of read the uh, the ability here, talk about some of the things, and then talk about the T4 upgrades uh, with the level five. So I like to start with the passives. Uh, you can see the the key in there for the msf.gg bot, which if you don't have, I highly recommend. Uh, all right, so the on the end of any hero for hell, hero for hire ally turn, 25% chance to attack the most injured non-summoned enemy for 100% damage, 30% piercing, plus 30% piercing for each hero for hire ally. So that's going to be, you know, hopefully 120%. So that's a pretty decent hit, but it's only 25% chance. So I'm not really putting much stock into that. I don't like when I see those low percent chances, but it is, you know, kind of at the end of each turn. So it's like, all right. Uh, it does ignore taunt and stealth and she will gain deflect, which is nice. On war defense though, and this is really what we're talking about, this always happens. So at the end of every hero for a higher allies attack, she will always do this. So that is going to make it really tough for uh, other teams to really be able to do much because she'll, if you get a high Colleen, just that ability right there will be uh, painful. So it'd be better if she had offense up and or defense down on the other team, but we'll see. All right, on turn, she gains deflect, which is great. She applies assist now to an ally Misty Knight. So even on her turn, she's going to get Misty to assist her. So that's great. On an enemy death, if this character has two or more hero for higher heroes for higher allies, apply offense down to all enemies. So that's kind of nice. So if you, you kill somebody, she's going to stack offense or put offense down on all enemies on spawn on war defense if she has three and this is this is the like same kit this whole section here is the same kit for all these heroes for higher allies so i want to focus on this for a little bit here so one it's on war defense only and you need to have three or more heroes for higher allies so it's not colleen luke and iron fist that doesn't work that way you need you need the three allies so colleen and the other three so you need misty there i believe so i i didn't actually get a chance to face these but based on what i'm seeing as far as the counters go this was not um in effect quite yet so but when that does happen um if health is full and not charged you get to charge so at the end of your turn if you're attacking you want to make sure that you've got damage on these characters because if iron fist heals them to full and they go into the next battle it's might as well it's like you didn't even attack at the end of any turn if charged and below 50 percent health lose the charge you clear all the negative effects and you heal for 100 percent of this character's max health gain off it's up for two turns two deflect and a death proof that's huge if charged always revive on death and gain plus 10 damage 10 damage reduction and 175 percent resist per charge so when you're losing um let's see at the end of any turn if charged and below blah blah blah, blah my yeah so the only time that you lose a charge is if you're below 50 percent health and you heal for 100 percent it's interesting because it doesn't say if charged always revive on death and gain 
um it doesn't say that you lose a charger so if someone won if you go from 51 percent to dead does that mean that she doesn't lose a charge because if that's the case you want to be real careful there to not just you know you want to you actually want to get her to lose a charge so that could be really really even more problematic for this team because you got to get her to man yeah i mean and actually now you think about it she just won't die because you got to get her to 51 or you got to get her under 50 get the charge back up get her down below 50 get the use the charge get her to go back up then kill her so if that's the only way these charge goes away and this is this is consistent through this team you have to peel off the charges before you can get through them which is going to be a serious serious pain in the butt you're gonna have some massive sustain to get through that so uh anyway but I'll, I'll be curious to see if the revive does lose a charge i don't know if it does or you're gonna have to have silver surfer you know taking these charges away so uh the passive pretty good you gain 20 percent piercing for self and all hero for higher allies pretty nice let's see the t4 here um all right so it goes that's a nice damage boost so you get a hundred percent damage increase there for that uh that that attack on the passive that's pretty big considering it's gonna be a more defense that's i mean i'm getting ready to get into my t4s there i could see that damage increase uh being so high that that could be an essential because considering it's just uh a passive damage there let's see uh two or more apply sys now all the same that's all the same uh, uh, uh the 30 percent. okay so she gets 10 percent piercing for self an additional 10 percent piercing um with the t4 there and it looks like it adds while this character has deflect gain a hundred percent chance to counter attack and 20 percent block amount so you can see that on turn she gains deflect so she's basically going to counter attack every single time so that's that in itself this is a pretty good t4 uh you get you get the um the uh the 100 chance to counter attack and the block amount you get 10 percent piercing and you get the 100 damage on this sort of passive guaranteed hit and war defense so i'm digging that i'm digging that t4 there all right so let's look at what we so she's got three out of three in her ultimate and she's got uh four out of four on her special so let's just start with the ultimate and see where we're gonna go here attack all enemies for 250 250% piercing if any target is a protector attack that target and apply three bleeds uh it's 100 more piercing as well apply heal block to all enemies gain um and actually it doesn't say oh yeah and apply you know i remember saying this during when uh, her first kit came out I, I still i need to play with that is that instead of attacking all enemies does she attack just the protector or does she attack the protector for that um and then kind of uh still attack everybody else i don't know i'm not sure about that i need to i need to actually play around with that some because uh i don't i haven't been able to attack her in war offense uh you get a, a thousand percent extra focus for this attack if misty knight it can't be dodged all right so the t4 here another 50 percent piercing uh you get another 50 percent piercing on the protector heal blocked for two turns and that's it so that's not bad it's not bad it hits a little bit and it's a short cooldown so if you've got a high reds on here and it's short cooldown you might want to consider that t4 all right so the special uh let's see so four to four short cooldown apply primary target for 330 percent damage apply three bleeds this attack gains 30 percent piercing for each hero for higher ally and again she's gaining a bunch of deflect so when we were talking about that passive again up here deflects she's gonna have deflect all day long so and and does that stack um while this character has deflect uh let's see where is that is it on turn i'm looking for the um no okay so i'm looking if there's a like a plus one gain deflect yeah i was looking for a plus one deflect here if she's already got deflect does that mean that doesn't add one there I was, i'm just curious all right so back to the special here all right let's see on war defenses attack targets the enemy with the highest damage instead of the primary target uh ignoring taunt and stealth and again a ton of focus so yeah she's going to um you know be looking for your highest damage person that you're bringing against them and really kind of go at them for some pretty pretty heavy hits there and uh some bleeds all right so the t4 here um i do like this bot and you should support their patreon 
Uh, shout out to Pimp Toxie and Taij there. So go check out their Patreon. Uh, Javier drops a funny line in there as we're going through here. 300%. Wait, that can't be right. Six. Uh, there's a there's a but, uh, attack all enemies for 300%. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, did I? Uh, da, 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 da. That should be the special. Let's do this special here. All right, so we had a we had a hiccup there. So channel or character Colleen. I was like, wait a minute, special seven. All right, so 400% damage for that special. So it's 70% uh, and it gives you an additional bleed. There's 30% piercing da, 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 and that was pretty much it because I'm pretty sure it was 30% piercing there. So uh, no, oh, oh yes, yeah, 30% piercing. So you get the additional damage in one bleed. So that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice uh, upgrade there for the special. And it's still, again, you're hitting the highest damage if you're on war defense. All right, so now let's get into the basic. All right, so the basic tech primary target for 290% damage, apply bleed, uh, ward defense, uh, perf performs a counterattack or assist, apply two bleed instead. And again, you want that 100, we've talked about counterattacks before. When she performs a counterattack, come up here to the passive again. When you put that T4 in there, when she's got deflect, always counterattack. So you really, this, you know, that, you, uh, that passive, I'm going to say, is essential there because you want that, given that on war defense, when she counterattacks, She's gonna do two bleeds, so instead of one, that's kind of nice. Uh, you don't need it, but it's it is it's you know it might be win more type of thing, but we'll see. Uh, Colleen's basic at uh, with the T4 gives you 40% more damage, two bleeds straight off the bat, and then the uh, assist gives you three. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I, look, this kit bleeds all over the place. The damage is pretty good. Uh, deflects and this passive. The passive is really where a lot of this is at. Uh, and again, this is pretty consistent, this whole thing here. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get through there. So, all right, now we've seen that. Let's go check out the stats. All right, for those of you not familiar, I've got a giant spreadsheet full of stats and I rank them. So the baseline is level 75, seven yellow stars, four red stars, 25% Stark Tech T14 or gear 14, passive level four per MSF GG. And then I got an average rank off to the side, and that's how these guys are showing up. So Kestrel, obviously top three tune in the game. Spoiler on Misty. And then we get Colleen Wing. So she comes in at the 33rd ranked character at the game. She's got uh, about a 59 average rank there. Pretty decent. So let's see. What do we, we want high damage on her, high focus, even though she gets some focus boosts on there. And I think it was Misty's passive has a 70% boost or something like that. So, all right, let's look at her health. 39th, that's pretty good. That means she'll, she should live a lot longer. Uh, 218K, that's pretty good. Damage, ninth in the game, 18,972. Similar to, I don't even want to say Yelena Belova because who cares? Uh, oh, I mean, she's better now, but still. Uh, Electro, so Electro's not too bad. So top 10, you know, uh, a little bit lower than Hella, but not too much lower. So I dig that. The damage is good. Damage is, I, I like it. Plus, remember, there's piercing involved in that. Uh, armor, also the same as Yelena and Electro. Coming in at 93rd, a little bit lower there. But she's not meant to be the character who's, you know, tanking or anything like that. 74.52 there. The focus is at 19. So once she gets those focus boosts, you're pretty much guaranteed to be landing all of the debuffs, all of the bleeds that you're looking to put out at her. Her focus at that level is 89.45. Her resistance is trash, complete, not her trash. But again, I'm not sure you really care uh, outside of the fact that you want her to not get slowed or stunned, but you've got Iron Fist who will be helping clear those. Her speed is at 113, which is not bad. 51st in the game, you know, top, uh, more than top half, uh, not super speedy, but solid. And you do get some speed bar fill with the Mr. Cage. So uh, again, coming in at 59 there. So pretty solid character you know the like i mentioned she is uh the damage queen of this team i'm the damage queen i shouldn't sing uh but yeah so i i this heroes for hire team is going to be a pain in the butt in war defense more than likely uh people are trying to come up with counters anywhere from brotherhoods to doc Ock types uh it's going to take a lot of sustain i'll tell you that right now so uh or silver surfer-esque types where you're you're clearing those charges People don't like to normally invest in more defense teams because it's not as fun. 
um i will say if you are into war defense or in or rather into war you're probably going to need to bring this team up just to try to put a roadblock in front of your opponents so even if you don't like war defense teams if you're into war it becomes a necessity but do be aware that these guys in the next patch could easily just be like oh they don't matter anymore so be wise how much you bring them up okay you know mercs did last for a while but if you think about it i think scopely meant to counter them back when skilletary first came out so anyway uh there's not a lot of war defenses that stick around very long so just remember that uh, they'll probably still be tough even at gear tier 12. so appreciate you guys stopping by again reminder discord link in the description below follow that and subscribe so you can follow along with the 10k giveaway once we get to 10,000 subscribers uh hammer down on that like button click that notification bell and until next time i hope you have a wonderful day